and these are what uh, we use in our organs, or well, a lot of us do anyway. This one's coming for repair because around this area, I don't know if you can actually see that, yes you can, was actually quite severely damaged. Uh, the chip had gone up, and so was the uh, PIC processor, and the octocoupler, and voltage regulator, and a few other components had been destroyed by someone, not necessarily the, the owner of the board, I think it was donated to him. But um, it's now up and running, so I'll just um, run the test so the person that owns the board can see it running. So we'll switch the power on. And we're just going to run this 88 note scale, which is what I programmed with, although it can only do 64 notes. LED, he uh, requested it to be remotely mounted. As you can see, it can be unplugged just there. We can actually unplug that off the board. And it can only be plugged in one way. So let's start the... Uh, there we go, we'll start it going. And as you can see, it's slowly climbing the scale. Maybe I should have switched the lights off on this. But you can see it climbing up the scale. That's each individual port flashing away. Some of the LEDs are bent over, so it's the reason why they don't look brighter on some than others. Now you can see that up and running. Normally I use a computer for this, and I've also got one of these boards that actually plays a musical tune, a note for each one as it goes up, um, to simulate my organ, so I can actually use it as a simulator. But uh, it's not what most people want. But this is just to show the board running to the, to the person that owns it. If he wishes to announce who he is, he will do. If not, he will remain anonymous. There's your board all working, sir. And we'll see you at the weekend.